Hi everyone, this is Lucky Kermit and I'm here with Cookie, my little cookie from Shrek. And in this video I'm going to show you the plushy stuff I got on vacation. Because um, I got a lot of plushies. And uh, as I told you in the previous haul, I was going to show you the non-plushy stuff and the plushy stuff in different videos. So in this video you'll see the plushy stuff I got. And I really got so many things, so I really would like to show you this. First of all, um, before we uh, went on vacation we went to Ikea. And uh, there I got this little billiard ball. They were selling an, a bunch of sporty stuff uh, because of the football championship going on. And um, I have been seeing a lot of keychains with this ball on it. And I, I like the plushy version because I never saw this before. And it's such a comfortable cushion to lie on or to, to hold. And uh, it's just so, so adorable and so, so cuddly and soft. I don't know how you call that game uh, with those balls. I checked my dictionary, but I couldn't find the word. <laughs> so, yeah, I used to put it here. See, I have a whole bunch of cushions on my bed. And then I also got this um, Ikea Golden Retriever there. Um, I was actually looking for a giant leopard plush, but I think it sold out. So, I got this small gold retriever plush to go with my bigger one long ago I got a bigger one, this is Rolf and they still have him there, so if you like him go get him, he's pretty adorable he's soft, floppy and cute and he's so he's so funny, he has a nice little feature, you can close his mouth, see? <laughs> and well now I have the smaller one, his name is Dusty I named him Dusty because he's like dust colored and um he um, has like a playful position. Actually, he's a, he has a very weird position. He's sitting like a human, see, and um, he's very difficult. It's very difficult to put him in a lying down position. So, well, I wasn't so sure I liked him in the first place, but I uh, thought it would be nice. Um, would be nice to have them both like two dogs, like mommy and puppy, or something. <laughs> And I put this little orange color on him, just as the orange dusty plush. So yeah, really happy they are together. And then uh, the next things I found are very funny things. I got these, wait a minute. And I also got this one. So these are plushies from Giant Microbes and they're just so funny. I didn't know they existed and I was so amazed when I saw them. Um, we visited um, um, a underground hospital and well I, um, I didn't know they existed and I was so amazed. They're just plush body cells like a muscle cell. And this is a red blood cell. And now I have to interrupt my video because my memory card is full. <laughs> so, so sorry I had to interrupt. Um, I was a bit distracted because my memory card was almost full. Um, so as I was saying, I found um, these guys in the gift shop uh, of an underground hospital. And uh, I never saw something so creative actually. Just, just so, so funny and so charming when you look those cute eyes, and they have, um, they sold little plush um, body cells and microbes. For example, um, you you have the, on the tag you get a picture of the cell, the plushy, and there there it says what kind of cell it is, and then you have a whole bunch of educational information about the cell. The plush cell you bought. So this is the muscle cell and this is the blood cell. Here's a picture of the blood cell, the plushy and here's the information. I'll let the tags on them. I think the tag makes part of them so I'll let the tag on them. And here are a whole bunch of viruses and microbes you can get. See, this is the flu. 
This is the cold. And they have a whole bunch of cute microbes and viruses you can get. Microbes don't used to be cute, but in this plush shape they are so charming. And they used to have... Some some of them have, have cute little features. Like the hard cell can um, light up and beat. Um, the muscle cell can stretch. See, this is stretchable. The blood cell can fold itself. I really would like to find the HIV virus, which looks cute and scary at the same time. And he, and this feature is a cute little red curled ribbon um, on its side. You can get them in in a, a, hu a huge size, and these are the smaller ones. You can also get a whole bunch of um, microbe articles, giant microbe articles, um, non plushy stuff actually. So they also sell a whole bunch of non-plushy stuff. So these are the two giant microbes I found. <clears throat> and then on the... Well, I think Tuesday morning, uh, I met a guy and his hawk. And it was so cute, and I've been ha uh, holding the hawk on my hand, it was so cute, I just love prey birds so much. And that day I found this uh, green eagle, and of course I really have to get it because um, I really would like to find a prey bird after that. And uh, I was uh, saying to myself, if I find a prey bird, I'll get it. And that, that day I found this green eagle. And I have to remind uh, that day because I really love to hawk. So this is the real eagle I found. I think he belongs to a, a football team, a Hungarian f a football team from long ago. The green eagles. I'm not so sure um, they still exist today, but um, they uh, they were pretty. It was a pretty good uh, team. And this one is from Gifts for Everybody. I also have a little thing you can fill in if you want to give it to somebody. So this is the green eagle I got, and his name is Mayday. I was so happy I found a braver that day because I really want want once to, I really want to remind that day. As I love Braybird so much. Uh, the next little thing I found was also something cute. I found this little frog uh, with Hungary written on his uh, on his belly and uh, on his pullover actually. And uh, I really would like to find um, a souvenir with Hungary written on it. And I found a lot of keychains, but they were all made by in uh, unbreakable stuff. So I wasn't so sure about getting that. Um, I prefer something plushy that can break. And I found this adorable frog with uh, Hungary. So of course, that was the, the most... Uh, well, that was such a souvenir for me, actually. And then at the airport, I found some. I found some dogs. Um, so first of all, I found the Kill Toys Golden Retriever. Kill Toys Golden Retriever signature. It says, and then and here it also has this little. Cute toy tags. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this one. And then uh, in another shop, I found this one. He's just so beautiful. Actually, when I saw him, he was on a very high shelf, and I was hoping he was a Samoyed. 
I really would like to find some Moyet plush. But when I saw him from close, he was more like a little dog. And, uh, well, I decided to get him anyway. Because he was, um, he was just so beautiful and so white. I don't used to like those small, long-coated dogs, but this one just looks so perfect. I think he's made by Bear Cops. And it was half a price, so it was a good, good bargain. And, uh, well, he has such beautiful hair. I've been um, grooming him a, him a bit because his hair was sticking out from everywhere. And he has this cute Hungarian flag around his neck. I put this little orange collar on him. I think he's a Maltese or a cotton from Tulear or something. But he looks more like those breeds. And, uh, well, I named him Oreo. So this is Oreo. And then when we went to the airport in Brussels, Brussels, we were waiting for somebody to pick us up. My brother was going to get uh, going to pick us up. I went to Relay, and there was so lucky. I found this um, gray and white husky there. Um, they had a whole bunch of plushies that I liked. But when I saw this husky, I knew immediately I was interested. I really would like to bring a husky back from uh, from vacation, but I couldn't find one in Hungary, uh, fortunately. Um, so I was really happy when I saw this one in uh, Brussels. They must have been stale a bit, um, as Woody said. But, but um, he looks great. I put this little orange, uh, no, this is a green color on him. He has pretty funny eyes, see? I love his size and I love the way he's uh, lying down. And he's a lally toy. He's a lally husky, so I'm really happy I have lally wolf and a lally husky. And a lally uh, prey bird. This is Torin. And I love him. I love him so much. It wasn't so easy to find plush in Hungary, so I brought the ones back that I found. So, these are the plushies I got there. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, there are a whole bunch of other videos coming up. So, um... Well, as I told you in the previous haul, actually. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.